Hello beautiful being, I'm Trini and welcome to this reading. I'm so grateful to be able to share these messages with you. There's our incense, <laughs> Ashe. Um, yeah, so messages have been flowing in over the past couple hours since last night. Um, it's now morning, late morning. And um, I was drawn to wear the color pink. And I started reflecting on the spiritual meaning of this color. And I really, really, truly believe that this reading that I'm delivering to you now is meant with the purpose or with the intention of providing support to the Divine Feminine or to someone who identifies as male, predominantly divine masculine energy, who has had a very painful experience with a divine feminine, uh, whether it was your mother or someone that you were connected to in a relationship of any other sort. It could be a sister, a girlfriend, a wife, an ex-wife, anyone that you have lived this life with and experience pain from. So if you don't fit into those categories where you consider yourself to be a woman, a female, or someone who is um, who has experienced a deep source of pain um, due to your interaction with someone who is feminine or a woman, then um, that's okay because this message could still bring a lot of wisdom and healing to you. I do want to clarify this, that this is a general reading. It is meant for the collective. So if there is something that you find does not resonate with you, it's just that it's meant for someone else. Okay, because we're sharing a space, this spiritual space to um, get the messages that we need. Okay. Also, at the end of your reading, there will be a sound healing portion, session. Um, something that I want to do, that's something I really want to do to help you integrate these messages and this energy that I'm bringing to you into your life in a meaningful way. Okay, so helping you to absorb it and to just relax and vibe out so that you're in a high vibrational state as you move forward. Okay, and I'm so excited about the things that are coming up for you because it's been coming through very clearly. Divine is saying that um, there's a lot of experiences from your childhood that you are healing at this time. This could have been related to your culture, your religion that your family followed, um, but there were limitations. There were a lot of limitations that were placed on you from your childhood and you were breaking through that uh, barrier, okay? Barriers and borders. That's what was coming to me earlier. That's what you're breaking past. Barriers and borders. And this is such an important time for you in your life because you are evolving. You are growing and you're learning who you are. There's nothing more beautiful than that. You're learning who you are, who you were meant to be. When I was putting on my makeup, badass kept coming to me. <laughs> it's like, this is the ultimate badass energy because you're not caring about, you're learning how to not care, right? Because you were taught to care. You were taught to care. You were taught to place a high level of importance on what people around you thought about you. On the messages, the signals that you were sending them. All of that teaches us when we when we care about other people and their opinions of us, it teaches us to turn our energy outward. So we're not looking at our own beauty. You have you have so much beauty within you that you have not yet recognized and that you have not yet given credit to. Because it's still those those ways that you were taught to care about other people and their opinions and what they think and 
adjusting your behavior based on them. In a relationship that can be useful, when we learn to pick up the energy of another person, you can be very in tune to them where there's a safe space for you to use your empathic abilities. But when you're out and about experiencing energy with a lot of different people, that's not the time to, <laughs> to really care, right? You have to have this sort of shield of protection where you just say, you know what? My protection lies in not caring about what they think about me. And you're, you're, you're really gaining momentum in this part of your evolution where you're not caring at all about the opinions that other people have of you. And that's big. I want you to know that that is really, really big. So when I was getting ready for this reading, I pulled two cards. And this, like, this came up in the last reading, um, this night and day energy. So it's Pele, light your fire, that fiery uh, sort of queen of wands energy, king of wands energy, where you're creative, you're lit, you're moving forward. You're passionate, okay? It's about action. It's about producing things that, and creating things that really strike something inside of you with this feeling of appreciation and passion and desire, okay? And then you've also got the Star Maiden. So this is about rest. This is about rest. So what I'm getting is that it's really a time for you to create and move forward, but to have confidence in your ability to do that. Because this rest energy, it's a, it's a sort of mental rest where you're not allowing anxious or obsessive thoughts to permeate your mind your energy, you're resting and you're trusting. This is also about trusting the divine, trusting the divine force within you to propel you to where you need to be because those energies are complementing each other, an energy of rest, a frequency of rest and a frequency of moving forward and creating. It's very active. But because of the level of confidence intertwined with it, with that rest card, you don't have worries. You know that you're taken care of. You know that you're provided for. You know that you're protected by your ancestors. And that was another thing that was coming through was um, please take time every single day, not only to protect yourself, but to connect with your ancestors. I start my day with my ancestors. So when I'm um, having my spirit time, I always start with my ancestors because that's your first connection to any sort of energy is the energy inside your veins, your DNA, your ancestors. So take time to honor them. You can offer them water. You can offer them alcohol. They love that too. <laughs> Do what, what resonates with you. If, if that's something that's going to take you to a, a path that's not in your best interest, then don't do it. Don't do that at all. But you will know what's right as far as how to connect with your ancestors. But that's very important to do that every single day. And then also, um, speaking protection over yourself. Whether you speak it, you visualize it, however you get it done, whatever resonates with you, make sure that you set up your protection every single day. Because it's very important. There are spirits out here that ain't playing, okay? But neither are your ancestors. Hello. Neither are your spirit allies. They're not playing either. And at the end of the day, you're going to see that the progress that you have made has been worth it. And that it has produced protection, peace. It's generated love in your life. It's all going to be worth it, okay? I'm going to pull from this, um, I've had a stick, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I, uh, this deck is, is cool. 
Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. Yeah, what I see is a complete transformation in you. I feel like you have decided that what was handed to you, the expectations that were placed on you, they didn't work for you. They just didn't work for you. And so you're like, no, this one flipped over too. You're starting something new. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. So, so, like such a needed message at this time. I really feel that. I feel like your, I'm trying to get the glare off of there. <laughs> your destiny is so beautiful. I just want you to trust that. Spirit wants you to trust that. That your destiny, where you are going, where your soul has planned for you to be, is powerful. It is magical. And it's going to happen as a result of the work that you're doing right now. To tune in. To see what spirit has to say to you. To see what messages are coming through. To avoid thoughts that lead you to something that is not within your best interest or to investigate thoughts that are leading you to learn something about yourself, to understand yourself on a deeper level. Sometimes thoughts come to us for that. It's like if a, a fearful thought comes to you, you can ask that fear, what are you here to show me? What is it? Where did this come from? Where did this fear come from? Where did you come from? It might be from something that you were taught from childhood, a false belief. It might be because of the way that you were treated by someone. It may be because of abuse or some sort of trauma that you've suffered. But it's there for a reason and it's coming to you to shed light on that aspect of you. And then you take it and you look at it, you reflect on it. And then you're, you're more evolved. That's how it happens. It's, it's just like that. It's taking the time to learn who you are and to learn what's best for you. Not what you were told was best for you, but what's truly best for you. That does take effort and you're putting in the work and that's why you will be rewarded. Let's see what the Afro Goddess Oracle is uh, sharing. <laughs> the heart okay i want you to know that you're safe oh okay so you're safe even though you feel the energies around you um so this is with because i feel like you're very sensitive to energy and that's a beautiful gift but it doesn't always feel like a beautiful gift when you're picking up on vibes around you and nobody else is really tuning in you know, I want you to know that you're safe. So you've got the heart here. There's something about love that is really meaningful that's going on in your life right now. And spirit is saying that you are protected and you are safe with this anchor. This is an energy that's been around for a while. This is an energy that is not going anywhere. I'm getting king of pentacles, king of cups. It's a vibe of um, a spirit that is very motivated to evolve right along with you. I'm getting twin flame energy, okay? And not all, <laughs> not all the um, not all the processes that we go through on a twin flame journey are easy, okay? Sometimes it feels like you're terribly mismatched, but that is just. A phase of life that is inviting you to learn about who you are who your person is and who you are together and how you're meant to flow with one another but this is like and this keeps coming through because I think um my first reading back you know um, I I shared information about a divine union okay so this spirit is coming through loud and clear there's a safety net 
that's available to you in love. And if you have not yet experienced that, it is coming. This is meant for you to feel this security within your love connection. To feel like you're understood. To feel like you are safe. To be who you really are. Because that card right there, who in the world are you? That's what you're putting together now. You're really growing. It's amazing what's, what's happening for you at this time in your life. And sometimes it feels like total chaos because when you're figuring out who you are, it's not always neat and perfect and cookie cutter. It can be messy, but there's beauty in the chaos too, okay? I want you to know that there's beauty in the chaos. But there's a safe space for you to land in your connection, okay? Um, with this mermaid, and I love mermaid energy. It reminds me of Mother Yamaya, Ashe. But I'm seeing in this light that there are eyes on your love life. Eyes are on your love life. And that might be um, stirring up some fear because that fear card came through. No need to fear. You might be thinking like, what are people thinking about me? What are people thinking about my love life right now? Look, you're going through your own transformation and your twin flame path with this person It's so strong that it's going to happen no matter what, no matter who's looking, who's tuned in, who's not paying attention. It doesn't matter. Your path is so beautiful that it deserves your attention. And so there's no need to think about whatever gossip is going on around you, whose eyes are watching you. They're watching you because they want to learn something. That's why they're watching you. They're watching you because they want to learn from you. They know that you are wise. They know that they there's a certain level of respect that people feel for you. And so they want to figure out what's up, what's going on. So um, that's definitely coming through. When you notice that other people are paying attention to you, don't let that freak you out. It's that they sense that you are an old soul. They sense that you have reincarnated many times and that you've learned lessons that they want in on too. They want to know who you are. So that's why it might be very, um, it might feel difficult for you right now because you're figuring out who you are but then you feel like other people are watching as well. Let them sit back and learn. So you've got the um, birds and that's all about gossip. So I know what you're talking about too, but here's the thing. You know, it's all about mental alchemy. It's all about mental magic. How you see a situation is how it really is because you have the power to do that. You are an alchemist. As a human being, who's also a soul, a spirit, mind, body, all of that combined, you have the power to produce alchemy, to produce real change, okay? So if there's a situation in your life right now that's not working for you, and I see right now there are eyes on you, there are people who are watching you, but you might be looking at it from a place of self-doubt, where it's like, why are they watching me? Now I got to make sure I do everything right. Now I got to make sure. No, you got to make sure you're true to you. Because this is about you and your metamorphosis. Okay. So take some time to visualize these people as your students. As people who want to learn from you. They come and they take a seat. They've got their notepads, they've got their laptops. They're ready to take notes, okay? Class is in session. <laughs> you are the teacher that somebody needs. And so this isn't to put pressure on you, but this is related to your spiritual gifts. You have an incredible amount of wisdom inside of you. So you are meant to share that. Sometimes you're gonna share it verbally with people as you see fit to communicate with, to help. But sometimes... That lesson that you're meant to share with someone else 
is going to come through you as an example. What you're doing in your life and the choices that you make. I got some in my eye. So that's letting me know that there's an interference. Okay. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to take a deeper look at this. Yeah. And and I see it. I mean, the, 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 the birds card is there. Okay. I see that there are people there who are watching. But the thing is, you got to understand that they're not watching you because... <sighs> Listen, they know that you are magical. And they're ready to take notes. That's all. <laughs> okay, soul fragments. Balance will be restored. So I've been pulling the justice card as I've been reflecting and not only doing my own um, spiritual work, but preparing for this reading. Balance is really what it's all about. Look, there again, we have the fire and the, the daytime energy, the masculine energy, and the nighttime energy, your moon. Also, take a look at your, uh, if you don't already know your natal chart, if you haven't printed that, take a look at it. I'll link it below. Um, it's a great website, Cafe Astrology. I love them. And you can put in your information if you have your exact birth time, time of birth. That helps, but it's not necessary. You just get more information if you do have that. But take a look at your your sun and your moon and how they interact with one another. Okay, because those those placements in your chart are very indicative of your active energy, your masculine energy and your feminine energy, your moon, your nighttime. And that's what you're doing now is you're blending the two. And you're feeling like this alchemy, this, this beautiful transformation that's happening. You're just like, why does it have to happen under the eye of other people? Well, because you were meant to teach someone. You were meant to show someone something that they would never know. If it weren't for you. I'm going to lay um, a Celtic cross spread because I do want to take a look and see. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want to take a look at the details <laughs> that are involved in this situation. Mm. Here we go. I want flipped. Ooh, I like ye. <laughs> okay, so for your uh, current situation, you've got Four of Cups, and the conflict is Empress. So there's some sort of prosperity that is available to you that you might be rejecting. You might be looking at something through a lens of this is not for me. You know, this could be a relationship. I feel like for some of you, this is a relationship. You're telling yourself that your relationship is not for you. And normally I applaud that because I'm like, in most cases, we have a person who's holding on to something that is not in their best interest. But in this case, divine is saying, look again. Take another look. Um, this is also about your creative energy. There's something about yourself that you're not seeing creatively. There's something about yourself, there's some beauty, there's some creative power that you have inside yourself that you're not seeing. Look at what's available to you. This is this is the Empress card. So beautiful, right? But there's something about it, about your beauty, about your creative power, about your potential for love that you're refusing. You're saying, mm -mm. No, thanks. The question is, because that fear card came through, the question is, why are you refusing this? Why are you not seeing this? Is it because of fear? Are you afraid of seeing how amazing you can be? Are you afraid of some sort of experience that you'd have to have to get to where you want to be? Like, there's something you want, but you feel like what it would take to get there is just too difficult. 
and that's creating fear. Um, the basis is Ace of Swords. So this is about seeing things with clarity and seeing things from a different perspective with clarity and with the understanding that you've done a lot as far as your growth. You've done a lot as far as your um, time spent connecting with spirit. So you deserve a breath of fresh air. You deserve a renewal in the way that you think about yourself, the way that you see that your life, the way that you see your life, the way that you see the opportunities that lie ahead for you. You deserve to see those things with clarity and with excitement. And with an understanding that this ties into your whole life, meaning your whole life being, just being here. This is where you are right now is very important to the overall meaning of your life. And you have the power. So that, that hand around that sword right there is like, you have the power. Take the power into your hands and say, I am who I am. And I am not afraid of change. I am not afraid of what lies ahead for me on this path. Ashe. You got two cards for the past. That's interesting. So you've got King of Cups and Two of Pentacles. There's a decision that you've been making about a love interest. You're weighing the possibilities, the pros, the cons. You're taking a look at him and you're saying, who is this person <laughs> that I'm giving my energy to? But he is presented as the King of Cups. There's a beautiful energy here. There's a beautiful connection. Your intuition is guiding you because you're surrounded by that water. And your spirit is saying to allow your intuition to guide you in your decisions about your heart. Because you've got, it's like the water is there over your heart chakra. Guiding it, leading you to the right decisions about love. And this is going to produce a really beautiful sense of balance in your life. Because you're trying to juggle everything right now. But it's going to all make sense. Because you're making the right decision. Okay. Um, for the present, you got nine of pentacles. Yeah, you got it. Like, you have so much abundance in your life. I don't think that you're seeing it. I don't think that you're feeling it right now. But it's there. This is confirmation that you have the power to reap so many benefits, so many beautiful signs of abundance. You know, so much prosperity is just within your reach. All that's necessary is to move past fear. That's it. The only thing that's stopping you is fear. It might not feel like that. It might feel like something that is completely valid based on your experiences, based on the traumas that you've experienced in your life. But what is coming through from spirit is that you have the power to reap the benefits of all of the things that you have worked hard for, all of the things that you've desired, all of the things that you've wanted, and all of the things that are destined to make it to you, okay? You are destined for greatness and you are destined to manifest really wonderful things in your life. And divine does not want you to stop. Okay. All right. For your future. Now, this is what we're working to avoid. That's why I love Celtic Cross because it lets us know what's ahead. All right. So I want you to really work on relaxing your energy, just allowing yourself to be. Um, be very cautious of thoughts that come to you that are like worst case scenario. 
because that is what would potentially come between you and your destined outcome. Now, your destiny is still going to happen. It's just that if we don't move in the divine flow that's available to us, we end up, it's like procrastinating. It's like you're pushing your destiny off into the future, okay, instead of allowing it to manifest now. So worry and anxiety, that's the main thing that would get between you and your destiny. Um, and this could come in, in, in your sleep as well, okay, because the Nine of Swords is about sleep energy and worry that comes to you in the night. Not only that, but it, it definitely can indicate some issues with sleeping. So uh, protect yourself before going to bed. Energetically protect yourself. Uh, it's good to use olive oil. You can put some olive oil on your third eye chakra and visualize protection surrounding you. You can invoke the power of your spirit allies, for your ancestors. Uh, ancestors have been coming through very strong in this reading. So I want you to know that they are there for you. And that by connecting with them, you are really making sure that you have the energetic protection and awareness that you need. Because sometimes what will come to you in the night is a warning in your dreams. And so spirit is, your ancestors are putting you on, letting you know, look out for this. Don't let this shake you. Don't let this take you away from your path, from your purpose, from your vision. Okay? So really protect your nighttime energy, your sleep energy. Um, I love dream catchers. I always say make sure that you get one from uh, that was made by an indigenous person because that's important. Okay, they have a lot out there that are cute. You can get them for decoration, I say, but um, don't try to use them for energy work. Okay, because <laughs> um, they are made with intention. Okay, and um, that's something I would definitely want to get that's authentic if you're using it for the purpose of clearing the energy of your dreams but you could play mantras as you go to sleep you could um use a crystal okay but protect your dream energy protect yourself at night and also during the day because that those clear intentions of protection really do make a difference okay and it's going to help you as you proceed with your your journey of growth and your decision making process okay because i see that you're at a crossroads you're making a choice a decision is very important to you and your future right now but that's why you want to protect your energy and you want to keep it to yourself as much as you need to okay um if you are naturally introverted and it helps you to focus on your own growth and evolution when you are to yourself then honor that please honor that Okay. All right. For your power, you've got Ace of Pentacles. So I want you to know that um, the power that you have right now is it's vital to not only your finances, but also to your sense of well-being. This is about physical health that you're promoting by paying attention, by tuning into spirit while you're making these choices right now. That is going to open up doors for you to experience more health, greater health, a stronger sense of well-being. And also, it's opening up your the doors that you have to make money. Okay, so you're going to have more opportunities to make money as a result of the work that you're doing right now on yourself. And there's also love there. That's that rose, that red rose. That's love popping up. <gasps> It's been coming through so strong. I love it. Yeah, but this is all about your manifestation. Using all the elements, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, combining them all and saying, I know my power. Okay. I know my power. The people around you, this is justice. And it's so funny to me because I saw this before the reading. It was like, it's almost like I was seeing, pulling this card. Somebody's getting their karma and this person is around you this person has attempted to bring harm your way um but spirit is ensuring that they get the lesson that they need okay <laughs> and that's what it's all about um it's a time for you to just express gratitude to the universe that yeah karma works it is a thing and it is its own teacher 
and um, allow this to reassure you of the fact that the universe has your back. It might not happen when you expected it to, but justice always will prevail. Always. It always will prevail. Because it's how we're created. It's how we create ourselves. It's how the universe creates itself and is created. So justice is coming. Okay, trust that. Trust that. All right, for... Your hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Swords. I feel like there is a fear of total failure here. The fear of failure is real in this card. The fear of pain. I know that you've experienced pain in the past, but Divine is saying that that's... Having a fear of experiencing what you felt in the past could block your blessings, okay? So... Allowing yourself to overcome that fear, to look beyond that fear. Don't let yourself stop with the thought of what if it doesn't work? But what if it does? Let's go there. <laughs> what if everything works out and it's all good and destiny is like we can check that off. You know, we completed our destiny. We manifested it. It's good. What about that? What happened to that vision? Don't just give credence to the thoughts that bring doubt you know because there's a huge imbalance there and that goes back to that justice card as well for you for inner balance um make sure that you're visualizing the positive in your life that's that day and night that's that pele energy light your fire and rest energy it's a balance of both so Take time to visualize things going right. Take time to see it in your mind the way that your heart wants you to see it. You know what I'm saying? Your heart is like, yo, if you knew the possibilities, if you knew the potential that you had, you would never doubt yourself. You would never doubt your present, your past, or your future. And you would have that badass energy that everybody loves to have. You know, that confidence where you're not in this state. This is what you're trying to avoid, but in trying to avoid it, you know, sometimes we manifest what we don't want because that's what we're seeing. We're seeing constantly, what if this happens? What if this happens? And then you end up creating situations in your life where that's what happens. Divine is saying to give yourself the chance to see it, to view it, to visualize it happening just right. Okay. Um, and then your outcome is really beautiful. This is Six of Pentacles. I see you sharing with someone. I see you expressing your energy with someone. Um, I see reciprocity in your life. And this also pertains to a beautiful twin flame journey. Um, there is reciprocity here. And it'll be at different levels based on where you are personally on your journey like if you're with your twin flame where you're just starting to balance your energies or understand each other it depends on how far you'll get in this lifetime with your twin flame but there is positive reciprocity here there's positive interaction here and so we're moving in the right direction this also pertains because it's pentacles this pertains to your wealth to your finances I see reciprocity in your work, your career, your creative endeavors. And divine is saying to honor signs of that. Any positive interaction is a wonderful manifestation. So you don't have to feel like you're behind because you're not where you envisioned yourself being. That's okay. Allow the universe to bring you the manifestation of what you want and what's right for you in the in the right timing divine timing is at hand and this is really positive interaction between you and others not only in your career your creative endeavors but also in your your love life yeah and i see uh 
I see Taurus there. That's Venus. That's love. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. Ashe. Okay, I'm going to end with, the, um. well, you know, we're going to do the bowls. Okay, I want to do that to help you integrate this um, fearlessness. It's all about rising above fear in order to manifest what's right for you. Not necessarily to manifest the thoughts that just come to your mind because sometimes that's a result of the trauma you've been through. That's a manifestation of fear, that thought. Think thoughts that work for you. The ones that come to you, the thoughts that come to you, you can, you can examine them. See if there's something to be learned about this feeling or to be examined about. But sometimes... You just got, my jewelry is catching my hair. I say, um, yeah, it's about moving at the pace that's right for you and taking time to visualize the thoughts of what you want to feel, to experience in your life. Taking time to create those visions in your mind. And if something comes to you that just doesn't work for you, you can transmute that thought. You know, if it's a thought full of fear, transmute it into, well, what would that situation look like if it worked out for me? Let me see that. Let me think about that. Okay. Let's see what Archangel Michael has. The way forward is open. You're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying with that night. Oop, we ain't dropping our blessings. Hey, let's go <laughs> right there. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. I was saying that you have so many blessings, so many, so much abundance around you, and so many opportunities for abundance, but you weren't seeing it. So, Divine is saying possibilities and opportunities abound. This is confirmation that you have total freedom. To take opportunities, to move forward with opportunities and possibilities that promote and lead to your abundance. Archangel Michael says, I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. It's about all levels. This is about freedom in love. This is about freedom in your finances and your career. And this is about spiritual freedom. Divine is like, we're not settling anymore just for one area of your life. You're getting peace and abundance in all areas of your life okay so be patient with yourself at this time it's a huge a huge time of growth um and really nurture your mental energy you can check out my asmr videos they really do help with um because like when I, I i watch them when i'm like editing and i'm just like oh my god i love this <laughs> but they really do nurture your energy of protection um, it's, it's so good to cleanse your energy and to nurture it with the high vibrations, those high frequencies that remind you of all those possibilities and opportunities that lie before you. So you don't miss them, you know, it's all about living the life that you were destined to live. And that's exactly what you're doing. Ashe. All right. Okay. I am going to include a, um, session with the bowl and it may be guided it may be just the bowl we'll see by the time you see this i will have all figured it all out so that's cool <laughs> but it's to help you integrate all of these messages of overcoming fear and opening up to your abundance your possibilities the opportunities that are available to you because you are such a special soul um and you came into this life for a reason Helping you to align with that reason. Okay. All right. Enjoy, beautiful being. I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Let's take some time now to relax as we allow the messages that you've heard to really sink in as they help you to transmute fear into confidence. Confidence in your gifts, your talents, 
your abilities, and simply in the beautiful being that you are. We're creating space within for your intuition and the divine energy within you to bring clarity. You rest assured in your power. You know who you are. You make wise decisions that strengthen your connection to spirit and that support your well-being. You love and you are loved. You nurture and you are nurtured. You move forward vibrating on a frequency of prosperity while knowing that you are great and knowing that great things surround you and await you. You attract a divine, reciprocal love. You attract prosperity and new opportunities for abundance. You have passion for your creative endeavors. You attract new opportunities to explore your dreams and to fulfill your life's true purpose. You have the power to overcome fear and you overcome it. You move beyond fear and you live above it.